So we've come across a nice grouping of Ellie's. It's a small group. It's not a very large herd at all. In fact, at the moment, I can only see three of them. So not very many, but they're just feeding their way along a very thick, dense bush area and I'm sure that's because there's a sneaky wind blowing today so they are just making sure that they hide away from that wind get into these thickets where there's less likelihood of them having to be have their hearing disturbed by the wind itself so that's the three of them there and there's the one in front now interestingly they've just come from Trias dam side and we found their tracks but on top of their tracks were the wild dogs so it just shows you how fast the wild dogs move. The elephants have gone all of about 100 meters and the wild dogs have probably covered now close to two kilometers. Yet their tracks are on top of these elephant tracks. It's really quite something with those three dogs. They never sit still for longer than two minutes. They seem to be always running. So hopefully at some point those dogs will settle down and we'll end up with a situation where that female gets pregnant and they den somewhere and hopefully be a lot more stable and, and settled than what they currently are. But our Ellie's, it's always good to see them. And in fact, yesterday afternoon, there was lots around. This morning, I haven't seen too many tracks for Ellie's, given how many Taylor and Byron had yesterday. So it's always pleasant to have elephants. And hopefully, this will continue the trend of elephant and leopard drive. We have Byron following up on leopard tracks, so maybe he'll be able to provide the leopard section for our elephant leopard drives that we've been having over the last few weeks. And I wonder if this is not just a split from another herd. I at first thought maybe it could be short trunks herd, given that there's not too many of them and, and this basic layout look quite similar, but it's not. It seems as though this is just a different grouping altogether. When you get these large herds of elephants that move through these sections, you'll often get these splits that will happen and, and a few Ellie's that end up staying in a certain area where there's lots of vegetation and water and they like it. And then they'll catch up with their herd later again. It's, it's not uncommon to see a splitting of, of big family groupings, particularly when we see big herds that are 50, 60 plus. Then you sometimes will find that little small family groups do split off. But you can see she's just doing a bit of dusting, getting rid of any of that soil that could potentially be on that grass. And it really is interesting the difference between last year's behavior and this year in terms of their diets. Last year we saw a lot of these elephants feeding off branches and roots because there really wasn't any grass. At this time of the year last year we had barren, barren soils. There was little to no grass and you find that the elephants couldn't feed off grass. Whereas this year it seems as though they're making up for the lack of grass last year and they fed mostly off the grasses. I've watched them, they the very seldom rolling roots and digging for roots at this stage. You never know, maybe in the next month as we start getting warmer temperatures and the grass itself really starts to get destroyed by the sun and all those grazers that will move through here. You might see that they shift onto branches, but most certainly this year they've had far less impact on the trees than they did last year.